hello guys uh, in this video uh, or in this tutorial how uh, we gonna see uh, this profile which have been seen in a different thumb lines but I made all uh, three for to grab the audience so I just made this profile so uh, to be honest like uh, if we start with here uh, in order to uh, practice so it may look complex but at the end of this video you feel like whatever the complex you have you have to imagine like how can we create such profile so as you can see in my uh, previous video uh, or i can just put it in the top or end of this video you can just go and see how the complex i made it as a very simple future by very minimalistic so uh, now uh, without wasting much time here we'll jump into a new part from there i will get explain how to create this uh, complete profile so uh, this is a kind of a geometry just consider is a random geometry which i got inspired from the internet so uh, let's get start uh, with that without wasting much time here uh, so uh, i've been already created a new part so i will start with a frank plane so if you are a solidus user i think it may be helpful for you if you are the different users i think it's almost the same but you try to follow it and you will happily enjoy and you can apply into the different uh, platform so uh, let's get start with the front plane uh, so let me make a little uh, you know a white background here. so i will go with the inch uh, unit today so infinity length from the center line so horizontal and vertical what i want to use so that uh, my reference will remain same here so uh, let me go with the ellipse what I want to do something a random uh, profile I just want to trim it I just only want this face so I will go with that ellipse and maintain the dimensions or you have to lock in the dimensions range so now uh, what I will tell you like I'm just trying to make a center profile how to do that and then slowly you will get into our engage with this video you will try to understand what I'm doing it exactly if I'm, my explanation was very fast, you have an option called uh, speed up, slow down in this a region when you are watching my video. You can do that. Okay, so uh, after making constraint the ellipse, so you have to make sure you have to draw one more line, I mean the center line. So here I will be creating a, a the front nose of that profile and I will also constrain this by having a one inch diameter and I just want to create an offset of four inch from the center now uh, you can use a three point arc from this point to here just to make sure these two are tangent these two are tangent and again come back this this here these two are uh, tangent this to our range. Sorry if that works not works. You have another option called mirror entity. Simple mirror about center line, it will be get mirrored. And go with the uh, trim entities, just trim this extra stuff which we don't want. So my uh, profile, I mean the outer sketch or outer skeleton is ready now. So uh, now by keeping that uh, we have forgot one more thing like one more reference which we need uh, at that mean like uh, this is the center axis for this profile so that i forgot to create so i will be creating at the moment in the same sketch uh, so here what i will go i will just try to create a six inch so two inch from this that should be sufficient yes my reference so what i will do front plane select uh, at this axis gonna create a plane with uh, 5 degree let me x yeah, from the top you can see this is my 5 degree I'm gonna sketch this profile offset the same profile I just want offset like 0.25 or 0.2 should be fine yep. reverse and select ok okay good and then uh, again print plane axis go for a plane five flip it 
to the left side sketch I'm gonna repeat the same process I'll be selecting the main sketch offset reverse point two I will be maintaining the same so my three profile is ready at this time as you can see here uh, we'll be hiding the plane which is not required at this time yep so I will be using a loft where you can see this complete profile where you have a, a step down a step down I mean uh, from the uh, main uh, profile so uh, what I will do I will be creating a this this and this got it my center section is ready now at this time this is how uh, I have been created that so it's very simple with a loft so you just keep practicing you will get to know uh, if you are a beginner intermediate at least you by the time you could have had an idea if you're an expert I know by looking at the profile you might be have a chance but please do in the comment section what in which level you are and based on that I will be creating more styles in the future yep uh, so go back to the uh, tutorial like yeah after this uh, the challenge what we have is uh, front plane again uh, we have to enable this uh, in sketch to show you to create a center line and uh, this uh, have to create a plane sorry uh, keeping that as a reference I will be creating a 18 degree where I just want to create a, another profile to connect this to so already we have this profile so now I have to connect this profile at the center I mean the mid of these two uh, bodies so I'm gonna select now a uh, sketch I'm gonna do an offset but this time what I will do I will reverse 0.25 let me go yes I will delete which is not required I will make a different profile it means a three point arc it's not about a different in the sense it's really the same 3.5 got tangent where you can see this is how it made so that you have a slope so the slope which I made from here to here so now at this nose I just do want to the nose like this very short just I want to create some a little bit of a surface yes I'll just make sure plane and uh, make the dimension somewhere close to a point three now yes so let me go with the tangent and this to a tangent yep perfect select a loft go with it and like this because have to shift perfect now but make sure this should not be merged with this body I will tell you the reason now so uh, left is ready I mean right is ready now by help of friend I will go with the mirror body I'm gonna do the separate body on the other side yes perfect this two body is ready now at this time so multi body so I will hide uh, this sketch at the moment let me hide these two bodies as well so now we are going to make a a pattern or, or a cut for that I will let me make sure this body should be in a surface then we will cut so that the inner uh, solid which is not required so delete face link these two faces or patch or fill just select the uh, delete so that the surface will be get deleted and then it will become as a surface the face will be get deleted and this will become a surface so now I want to maintain some thickness so I will be maintaining a point one or one and it should be an outer not an inner so I will be maintaining a thickness over the area uh, here we go with uh, see if you feel my explanation again I'm saying uh, if it's fast like you can use a slow and speed up however you want uh, depends on your preference so after making this select a, a frame plane where you can go for an, a rectangular cut something like this I am just taking a reference from here to here 3.45 maintain this to let be be clear point two 
now I use a circular uh, or sorry a linear uh, sketch pattern select the entities which you want to have so this should be an uh, x axis sorry why it is coming with that sorry okay, sorry 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 okay anyway i will select this as a reference now entities entities let me select this this and this and also this maybe because of that okay i will remove here i will be selecting this oh my god let me delete and let me add here okay find this i'll be creating a plane of tower front or make sure it should be an x-axis i don't know why it's not allowing okay let me come back again so let me close here I'll go for a linear pattern again so x axis is selected uh, i don't want to disturb that so i will be selecting a right click all four entities now make sure it should be a reverse and uh, point two was we maintained so point four so that we have a e e even gap in between so let me go with the 10 oh sorry uh, let go with 16 ah yes exactly it was matching so if you go for 17 what happens uh, exactly we will be having a very tangent shift that so we'll go with the 16 for now gonna select okay go with the future cut extrude i don't know why i don't i really don't know why what happened we are spending too much time over here i'm extremely sorry for that this point we don't want any time 16 and point 0.4 and i'm selecting okay i think i went too fast i <laughs> definitely I understand so uh 16 was pretty much enough and uh, the dude through all both i don't want uh, to be only one side i want to go for both sides i'm going to select okay now this time body to keep i want to keep all the bodies i'm going to select okay now yeah perfect so this end to be let it cover and uh, on the top the same similar way of cut let it be in the top and bottom so now i will enable the rest of the two bodies so i just want to maintain this 34 body as a one body so here what i will tell you uh, this is already an, a very uh, sharp edge so it will not get merged here so uh, let me go with the direct editing go for a move face so i will try to move the face little bit 0.01 something like that so what happens just zoom it and see like uh, that should be sufficient to match so now uh, combine uh, add it's control a so that i will be adding all the bodies and combining it it's a single body so my body is ready as you can see here this profile is completely ready now by using a circular pattern we will be doing all the bodies like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so uh same 10 bodies by keeping the reference of 6 inch which we have offset here right the same thing i'm going to select the sketch uh circular pattern and this body i'm going to select okay uh, here this is my axis where you can see exactly it was matching why because we maintain 18 degree for the six we have made an 18 degree if by chance if you make a different angle it may get merged or it may get away from the profile so according to your offset you can decide what is the angle which you want to play so at the time uh, almost we are very close to our image because i know the dimensions have been created so we just practice on the same you also can achieve and you can well you are looking at this similar kind of a complex profile you can just think like how can we do that that's how you can end up now okay, again combine control a so i will be selecting okay at this moment uh, now uh, only the fillet is pending so i will be making the fillet over here so we have to go with the multiple uh, edges each time uh, to maintain that uh, fillet 0.5 
uh, same way you can select all the entities to cover up so for now in order to uh, save your time i'm just only going through the three edges i'm going to select okay yeah perfect so all three is done so i think uh, this is how uh, you can imagine your you know a way how to do the model in the 3d solidworks so loft you have been learned at this end uh, summary loft mirror delete face thickness how to make that and do extrude cut move face combine pattern and fillet so this all like for the new uh, you know beginners which they can able to learn and uh, implement also if you are a beginner it i mean like it will be easy for you to practice a lot of stuffs in my uh, playlist you just have a look on that more furniture videos macros and other uh, component modeling i'm just exploring on the more way which i'm putting over there so uh, this is what i just want to convey and please do subscribe uh, most of the viewers are uh, you know uh, or not subscribe to my channel please i request you to subscribe that will help me and motivate me to do a lot of stuffs in the future uh, thank you uh, see you in other interesting and uh, unique design uh, in next coming week please please subscribe and press i can see you in the next interesting video bye until then bye from shape it